What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm here today to give you guys a review of the Bodega collaboration with Saucony on this 3D Grid Hurricane. Today's video is sponsored by Heflux. When it comes to sneakers, comfort is king. So when you buy a pair of shoes and find out they're uncomfortable, one of the easiest fixes is to swap out the insoles. So that's where Heflux comes into play. If you check out their website, which I've linked down below in the description box, you'll see they sell a variety of ETPU insoles, which really is the same material you'll find inside Adidas Boost. So if you guys are curious to try them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout to get 15% off your entire purchase. So this right here is the latest collaboration between Saucony and Bodega, this time on the 3D Good Hurricane Silhouette. So this is a model that Saucony has really been trying to push over the last few months. And what better way to drive up some hype than by collaborating with a boutique like Bodega. So these released back on January 21st for a price of 150 US dollars, which is roughly 200 Canadian dollars converted. The official colorway for this shoe is cream and green. And this is one of those designs that I feel like you either love it or you hate it. To be fair, Saucony at this present moment isn't at the top of most people's lists. And even for people who are fans of Saucony, this 3D Grid Hurricane doesn't nearly have that same level of respect as for example, a Shadow 5000 or 6000. But with this wild and intricate 90s inspired design, I think Bodega and Saucony did a killer job. So first things first, here's a quick look at the box. So this comes in a custom branded box. We have this brown colored lid with Bodega and Saucony co-branding on the top. And then on the side here, we have the Saucony grid branding, along with the tagline for this collaboration, loyal to the sport. So as for the shoe itself, so diving straight into the details, the base layer of the sneaker visible on the toe box, this is covered in a white colored mesh. Overlaid on front of the toe box, we have a dark green colored suede and embroidered on the lateral side, we have the Saucony logo in this neon yellow color. Covering the eye stays of the shoe, here we have a gray colored nubuck which feels very buttery to the touch. And then underneath this, we have this dark green colored stitching. On the bottom of the shoe next to the toe cap, we have a cream colored suede which has a repeating square pattern glued on top of it. And in the center once again, we have that thick green colored embroidery. Towards the heel, we have 3D grid branding embroidered in a combination of green and blue. And above this on the quarter panel, we have a textured textile overlay. And in the center on both sides of the sneaker, we have a 3D raised logo with iridescent foil, which gives off a very 90s inspired feel. And then underneath the 3D grid branding on the bottom of the heel, we have another woven side panel, which almost looks like it's carbon fiber. Moving on to the heel of the shoe, we have more of that gray colored nubuck, and then we have that green colored suede with Saucony branding embroidered in that neon yellow finish, along with a reflective 3M panel right above it. As far as the laces go, so these come with three different lace options. The standard or default lace and the one that I prefer the most are these flat style laces done in this off-white color. You can see we have Bodega branding on the blue lace tips, and if you're not feeling these laces, they also give you two colored options, one in blue and one in green. Underneath the laces, so we have the tongue. So the top of the tongue is covered in this patterned green colored mesh finish. And on the top, we have this rectangular tag with Bodega 3D grid branding embroidered in the center. The back of the tongue and the interior of the shoe is lined in this neon yellow or neon green colored textile. And then as far as the insoles go, so these come with a pretty well padded foam insole. It's lined in that same neon color on top. And once again, we have Bodega and Saucony co-branding pressed onto the heel. So the upper of the shoe sits atop this full length EVA foam midsole and encased within the heel of the midsole, we have Saucony's grid technology. So in simple terms, think of it as basically a tennis racket, which is there for impact protection and shock absorption and will give you that bounce back and energy return. So if I turn the shoe over to the bottom, so the outsole here is primarily constructed out of a gum rubber finish. We have these blue colored hits on the forefoot along with Saucony branding on the heel and in the middle of this white part, this is just exposed EVA foam. And on the heel, we have this clear egg-shaped TPU window, which reveals the grid technology that's found within the midsole. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And for those wondering about sizing, these generally do fit true to size, so that's what I'd recommend. So my feet measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, so that means when I step on a Brannock device, my feet are actually a size 10. So I picked these up in a size 10, and they fit me absolutely perfectly. Even though my feet are a little bit on the wider side, I had absolutely zero issues with this pair. And the length of the shoe was perfect as well. There was about a finger's width between the edge of the shoe and the top of my toe, which I considered to be perfect. But if at all possible, I'd recommend trying these on in store first, just to get a sense of how these fit on your feet. Moving on to the comfort. So the 3D Grid Hurricane is an okay shoe from a comfort standpoint. 
but even though this was a pinnacle running shoe back in the late 90s, nowadays, to be honest, this is strictly going to be an everyday casual use shoe. And I think for that purpose, it's going to be perfectly fine. You feel some level of softness and step in comfort, but on the whole, the shoe is a little bit more on the firmer side. But if you're just walking around running errands in this shoe, you're going to be perfectly fine and they're going to be comfortable for that purpose. I do have to add though, even though it's very intricately designed, the 3D Good Hurricane is a very lightweight feeling shoe, and it's one of those shoes I barely notice that's on my feet at all. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, so first off, material quality, I thought it was solid. I'd say that it's above average, but the material didn't necessarily wow me to the same extent as some other sock knees that I've reviewed on my channel. Don't get me wrong though, the materials are solid, especially the new buck, these dark gray hits, they felt very soft and buttery to the touch, but because there's a lot of textiles and meshes, which don't get me wrong, makes sense for the aesthetic of the shoe, it just didn't have a super premium feel from a material standpoint. But from a build and craftsmanship standpoint, that's where the shoe really shined. I thought the panels were very cut consistently, the overall shape of the toe box was nice and sleek, no visible glue stains that I could see, and the paint job was solid as well. So kudos to Saucony and Bodega, or specifically the factory that made this, for doing a very solid job. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet, I'll lace them up and I'll show you guys how these look. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this is one of those you either love it or you hate it sort of shoes. If you've been following my channel for the last little bit, you know that I'm becoming a much bigger fan of Saucony, and I really appreciate the creativity they give us and the quality of the materials for the price point. So for this specific collaboration, I love the whole 90s vibe that it has, and it's basically right in line with the typical Bodega collaboration, which more often than not is a hit rather than a miss. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Bodega and Saucony 3D Grid Hurricane. What are your overall thoughts on the execution and the design of this shoe? And for anyone watching, did you pick these up as well? Did you pass on them? Either way, drop a comment down below. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check out my Twitter account at sean.go, and visit my website at seangoca so until next time, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.